Emmanuel Alade, a resident somewhere on Adekunle Street, Ibutemeta, is hungry. I offered him 200 naira to feed while briefly engaging him in a discussion. His dad sells bicycles, while his mom is a food vendor. Here is also Zainab, a trader and one of many residents whose family and business are affected by the coronavirus pandemic and its attendant effect. They are hoping to benefit from the relief program initiated by the redeemed Christian Church of God, Throne of Grace. It has not been easy, sincerely speaking. We are all just struggling. And we pray for the COVID-19 to go so that everything will be back to normal and we resume our daily needs. The lockdown has really affected me because I'm a businesswoman. Since the lockdown has started, I could not go to my business. We are just indoor, no food, nothing. Emmanuel never returned to take part in the relief program as the RCCG COVID-19 palliative team commenced distribution of food items to vulnerable individuals, families and heads of house fellowship centers who are believed to be closer to households within the community. This humanitarian gesture is to bring renewed hope to main homes and help them weather the storm during the lockdown period that somewhat dampens the festivity associated with Easter celebration as government battles on to end coronavirus spread in the country. Wherever we are located, we affect our community spiritually and we also affect them spiritual, uh, physically. And by way we can affect them spiritually is to extend our love to them by meeting the need. People are staying at home and they need to eat. Whether they work or they didn't work, they need to eat. And so, and as church, we can't stay and lose because the member of the society are the members of the church. And some of the leaders will go into various houses to go and share so that people, at least this Easter, and we know it's a time of lockdown, but they can enjoy in their home enjoy rice and beans, enjoy with their family. People should keep hope alive because nothing comes to stay. Everything comes to pass. And we believe in a question of days, this thing will be over. Beneficiaries were delighted, saying they would at least have a means of feeding their families. Oh, we really appreciate it. At least the little they give us, it will sustain us for a while. And we pray that before it's finished, another epa will show up. Like me, I'm a widow. And you know, God is the husband of the widow with my four children and my half self, making five. So it will really go in a long way for us to eat. The food distribution, as directed by the RCCG General Overseer, Imano Adejari Adeboye, targets 4,000 residents as it is being replicated in different designated centers across the state. Likon Onobanjo, LTV News.